than usual because I intend to create some new and different content. Therefore, today I am going to try to name the flags of Europe. This means that this video is going to be a kind of challenge and also something a bit educational. I truly hope you like it and let's see how it goes. Today I am attempting to film and to play at the same time for the first time ever. Um, and this time we are exploring the flags of Europe. The timer is set for 8 minutes and I probably can do it faster than that. But I won't push myself to do it in a very high speed. Due to the fact that I will probably want to talk about countries and flags. Let's see how it goes. Let's start. We start with Greece. And then Norway, my favorite country in the world. I used it to learn Norwegian before. Now I stopped because I don't have much time and I decided to focus on other languages. But I really want to learn it again because I would love to study there or live there for a while. And the same goes uh, with Belgium. I would love to spend some time there and experience their um, way of life. I got Cyprus before and now it's Serbia, Sweden. For those who don't know me, um, I am always mentioning that I love Northern European countries and yeah, Lithuania. That we got Slovakia. Uh, I use it to mistake mistake both Slovenia and Slovakia flags, but now I'm doing it right, so I'm happy. Angry. Now it's Slovenia. And Denmark. I like how people there are always riding their bicycles towards work or even school. It's something that I, I couldn't imagine happening here in Portugal. And sometimes I also see the tourists, they might come from Denmark or even the Netherlands because it's another country in which they, they use bicycles often. But they come to Porto, for instance, with their bikes and they will probably find out that it isn't the best city to ride a bike. Um, now we have Bulgaria, Portugal, I was just talking about my country, um, Estonia. Estonia is one of the countries I admire the most in Europe because they have been growing so much in many, many, many fields. I think that Portugal could take them as an example, just saying. Now we got Switzerland. Their flag is small, but the country itself, when it comes to economy and quality of life, is so big. Vatican, I think it's the, the smallest um, recognized independent country in the world. Not sure though. Turkey, Netherlands, Czech Republic or Czechia. I will write Czechia. Uh, when it comes to this country, Czech Republic, I've been there before and I got sick there. So it was my first experience in a foreign hospital. It was very scary, but <laughs> it went, it ended up going well in the end. So yeah, Croatia. Ukraine. When it comes to Croatia, I would love to learn the language. Even if I would just be able to hold a basic conversation, I think that the language itself is very, very interesting. France. I love the language. I love the country. So, Malta. UK. Poland. The last country I visited was Poland. Germany. Belarus and Latvia and now we have Montenegro 
and Spain. At least for me, Spain isn't considered to be a foreign country because it's so near Portugal and I feel like Portuguese go there very often so it doesn't even feel like it isn't home, you know. I don't know how to explain that, but I have this kind of feeling. Albania, Bosnia, Herzegovina. Sometimes it is harder to write the names of the countries in English than to guess the flags. Ireland, they have a similar flag to Cote d'Ivoire. And Kosovo, it's a new country. I admit, I don't know much about Kosovo yet. Luxembourg and Austria. I will try to film some vlogs in Austria. I'm not sure if I will be able to do it because I feel like I always try to film some vlogs when I go on holidays, but it never works. Russia. I feel like I will spend the most of the video saying this. I would love to visit this country. I would love to learn this language, but if I could, I would definitely uh, visit every country in Europe and learn every language in Europe. As for Russian, I would love to visit and to learn the language. And I was going to do it, but then Mandarin appeared. I got an email from my university saying like, um, the Mandarin lessons are starting and yeah, I decided to apply and I've been learning Mandarin since then. North Macedonia. This is Romania. Romania has a similar flag to Shad. This one is Moldova, right? Yeah, it's Moldova. I usually mistake Moldova and Andorra because their flag is very similar. Now we have Monaco. This flag is similar to the flag of Indonesia, but I think, I'm not sure, that the differences they have are related to the sizes. Liechtenstein. This is another country which is hard to write in English. Now, I think it's the same in Portuguese, but it's still hard to write it. Finland. Now we have Andorra and Iceland. I love Iceland and they are so good at handball. I realized that many of the coaches uh, in the Olympics were actually from Iceland. I mean, at least two of them. I think the one of Bahrain and Egypt. No, I'm not sure, but at least two of them were from Iceland. Oh, the time is... <laughs> I'm running out of time. Uh, San Marino. But okay. Uh, San Marino is a small country. And for me, that I am um, a postcard collector, I love small countries. When I get a postcard from a small country, I feel like it is something really rare. Now I got 100% right. Genius level, Einstein. All right. Uh, I still had 36 seconds left. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this result. I got every flag, right? And I feel like I will eventually try something like this next. I'm not sure. Let me know your opinion down below. Um, I would like to thank you for watching my video. It was really fun to play and to film at the same time. I hope you feel the same way and I hope to see you next time here. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.